Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a really cool review. I got the WL Toys V686G 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi quadcopter. This is a really cool quadcopter. I gave it a try last night, a first try, and I was really impressed with the reception I was getting on the screen and the control and how smooth the video was on the screen. Um, so I brought it out here to Satellite Lake to show you today. First off, let's go over the quadcopter itself. It's, it's a your basic quadcopter, but here's the heart of this, this system here is this uh, transmitter and camera. Um, if you look at it, it has four prongs. It has two power, power prongs that goes to the quadcopter, similar to say, such as a Wi-Fi um, FPV system. But there's also two other control wires going into the camera, and that is for the video and also for pictures. And that is controlled video and pictures, recorded video and pictures, go to an SD card on the uh, camera itself, and they're controlled by the uh, WL Toys controller. Uh, the, uh, there's a video camera button and there's a picture button right there to turn it on and off on uh, if you want to record um, but if you don't want to record it just uh, automatically turns on and provides streaming video to the screen of the uh, controller now again we're, we're saying this is 5.8 gigahertz and what you see here you have a shielded cable running out here and this one here I'm guessing is about one half of 31 millimeters <laughs> for 5.8 gigahertz the advertised range on the transmitter, the FPV, the video, going to the uh, receiver is advertised at 500 meters. I find that amazing, um, especially since this quadcopter's range from the transmitter control range is only 100 meters. So uh, essentially you don't have to worry about losing video reception while flying. You just have to worry about flying out of range of the transmitter, and that is a big concern, but I... I know ways around that, and I'll probably show that in a future video. <laughs> um, look, let's look at the transmitter itself, or the receiver itself. This is the receiver screen of the uh, the uh, FPV. It's got a nice little sunshade that pops open. I like that. Um, all it has on it is an on-off switch. You apply power to the quadcopter, and then uh, wait a few seconds and turn on your uh, receiver here on this on-off switch and it automatically uh, syncs up with uh, the receiver on this uh, screen. Um, it has a nice, this looks like a 5 dB antenna. I'm guessing it's a 5 dB antenna. It looks like my 5 dB antenna that I have on one of my other uh, transmitters. So uh, you should, again, get great range like they're advertising with this thing. Um, let's see, the transmitter, the controller itself, is uh, your looks like your standard WL Toys uh, transmitter. It's got the same makeup, you know, 40, 60, 80, and I believe 100. Um, this is for lights, and uh, this is for taking a picture. And if you want to take a video, you press down quick on this button here. Um, this also has, I believe, one key return to home. I'm not going to try that. Well, maybe I will try that. I believe it's you press this button here, and it returns to somewhere. <laughs> I'm not a fan of those type of features, but we'll try it. And I believe headless mode, if you want to enter a headless mode, you press down on this button and hold that for a few seconds. Um, we'll give them a try if we have uh, time in this video. But uh, let's go right into a flight and see how this works. I'm going to go over, I'm going to stay in the pits to fly this again. And the main reason being, I want to take advantage of the shade we got here. We also don't have any wind, so this is a great day to be practicing this. And again, I don't have any other people here with me today, so there's no safety issues here with uh, flying in the pits for those of you grumbling out there in the AMA world. <laughs> so, here, I'm going to set it up and I'll, we'll get right back into this video here shortly. Okay, it's recording and the number goes off down here to let you know. That
Okay, I got the uh, battery inserted. Turning the transmitter on. And it automatically binds with the quadcopter at the end of all that beeping. Let's go for a flight. And also, I'm going to start recording right now. And off we go. Let me trim it a bit. And I'm looking at my screen. It is somewhat difficult to see in the sunlight, bright sunlight like I am, right here. And I'm going to have to go to 60% because there's some wind out here today. But I'm gonna, right now I got you or got on the screen what this camera is seeing since I'm recording it. But I can also see if I tilt my screen just right, I can see the reception from the quadcopter. It's kind of scratchy, so I find it hard to believe this thing goes out to 500 meters. I'm out about uh, 70 meters right now. I'm letting the wind blow it back. That's the wind, folks. Nice stable flyer. I got to admit that. Let's do a rotation as it goes overhead. Okay, that has a nice camera on it too. I don't know if you can appreciate that, but uh, this is the camera from it. Okay, going forward again. Forward pitch. And I'm going to bring it down lower. And to do that, I'm going to do a little bit of a corkscrew to the ground here. Okay. Now, I'm going to stop the camera now. Now, I said this has a return to home feature that you pre activate by pressing this left button. Some people call it a return to somewhere. Let's see where it returns. Pressing the left button. Let's activate it. Let's see if it brings it overhead. I don't know where it's going. It's certainly not coming home. Turning it off. So, that return to home feature didn't work very well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's bring it in closer and show you that, folks. Okay, I'm hovering there, activating return to home. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> okay, that return to home feature, I would not recommend relying on that. Let's try the headless mode. I think my battery just died, but that's the beep of the headless mode. Did you hear that beeping? Okay, let's walk out and get it. No, my battery's still fine. I'm going to have to take off these uh, prop guards off this thing. Let's point the quadcopter in that direction. Let's take off. Activating headless mode. Okay. So that's its... Whatever direction it's pointed at when you activate it, that's the direction it uses. Just showing the headless mode's working. Turning off headless mode. So that headless mode feature is uh, questionable also. Let me activate it, pointing the quadcopter in this direction. Turning it off. Well, it really doesn't like these prop guards I got on it. I gotta remove those. Let's try out the maneuverability of this quadcopter, just flying it. Let me make sure that the camera is no longer recording. Okay, it's solid. 
I'm going to 80%. Let's try, how does this thing perform? Well, keep in mind I'm using a V636 battery, so maybe that might be an issue. This is not its stock battery. I'm going to redo this video again with its stock battery. I think it's, the issue is I'm using this V636 battery. And also, uh, I got this prop guards on. And that's not the greatest idea to be flying. We got a nice breeze coming at us right now. Let's work the camera one more time. Turning on the camera. That's its video again. I still got power in that uh, battery though. It has a nice camera. It's fighting a breeze. I'm going to 100. And I'm going to do a flyby here. Let's go up in that direction now. And flying overhead that from that direction. So its camera alone is pretty cool. Um, the Wi-Fi Again, it's kind of hard to see out here in the sunlight. Not the Wi-Fi, the FPV screen. Even with this shade here, somewhat hard to see. I guess all these have the same issue in, in bright sunlight. If you want to fly these, I bet this works much better in a cloudy day. But on a sunny day, it's hard to see. But there's its camera again. Let's do one more rotation around, and then I'll bring it in and call it quits for this flight. Now with those prop guards on, it's not very uh, maneuverable. I'm going to take those off for future flights. This is just my first flight with this. But again, okay, bringing it down. And I'm going to do a corkscrew to the ground. I'm up there about 100 meters. <laughs> yeah, it goes into the vortex rig state there with those uh, prop guards on. So, future flights, I will take off those prop guards off of this quadcopter. Um, it doesn't make it very maneuverable with these prop guards on it. So, that's my first look. There, can you see? The, I can see myself. <laughs> can you see, folks? There's my, this again is my first look at the FPV of this quadcopter. Um, again, it is a little bit difficult, to, it is somewhat difficult to see out here in this bright sunlight. I'm sure this works much better on overcast or cloudy days. Uh, but uh, that's the first look at the V686G from WL, WL Toys. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.